so how are you guys doing today my name is kryptonic and today i'm going to be showing you guys a way to live stream using something that you don't necessarily have to download onto your pc so if you guys do end up enjoying the video remember to leave a like and a comment down below and anyways guys let's get straight into the video so as you guys can see right here i'm going to leave a link down below in the description for you guys so you guys can easily get to it and have no hassle going to it i have no idea the right way to say this infinity scene or something like that infinity scene something like that i'm very bad at this but this is one of the few things that I found a long time ago when I was just desperate to find a way to live stream but my computer just couldn't do it because as you guys know OBS it requires so much of your computer that you know it just makes live streaming something that's very impossible to the average person but I did find that this in general this website makes it so easy because it's not using up your computer power it's going off of the web browser so it just makes it a lot easier so once you go to the website of course you're just gonna want to log in you can log in with YouTube Twitch and many other places so so once you're in here all you're gonna want to do is just go over to add an asset and as you guys can see you can add a video device which is like an Elgato or camera or anything like that a display text so this is basically the, the way a normal like OBS program exploit or something like that would show it it's just web based so it's really nice and it just goes off of your web browser so right here you just click uh, display I'm gonna go with display cuz you know that's what I'm rocking with and of course you do need to download this for your computer this is basically the only way that you can do it and this allows you in order to make it work properly you're not downloading a program you click it and once you download it it's a split second thing it literally downloads this and then you're gonna be good to go so once you have this loaded all you want to do is just run the program and as you guys are gonna see in a little bit it's gonna give me a code and this code is just gonna be used for you know for accessing my computer and stuff like that and it's not like OBS or anything where it's gonna download an actual program it's gonna download something completely different so don't worry about that this is just a download that gives you the code for your computer so that way you can be safe while you're doing all this stuff and anything like that and it just makes everything so much easier so once you have all of that as you guys are gonna see right here it's opening up it's gonna give me a code of course I just copy the code paste it in there and it's gonna connect and now I'm gonna be able to live stream as you guys can see and as you guys can see once that is added in it's gonna be able to live stream and it's gonna make my life a lot easier right now I'm signed into YouTube as you guys can see in the top right it says Kryptonic HD because you know that's the only Kryptonic HD around town but as you guys can see it's loading in my display and it figured out my 1920 by 1080 p monitor so that's what it's loading in right now I don't know why it's taking so long my internet recently has been just horrible but it's loading it in and once it does load it in it's gonna make my life really simple because you know ooh, it has no audio might want to fix that really quickly so as you guys can see right here it loaded in my display and it's all working very it's gonna do that OBS thingy where it just keeps going down and down and down and that's because you know of course I'm doing my own live stream thing and it's just displaying the same thing over and over I could also add an image so if I want to upload an image like let's just say I want to upload my infamous kryptonic subscribe overlay at the top right then you you know all I want to do is just go over to my YouTube and then go over here once I added that in as you guys can see it says upload complete and it's gonna upload there and as you guys can see the top right is ready to go from here the settings this is all you're gonna really want to mess with as you guys can see it says YouTube I can change it I can of course make it other things Facebook hitbox or twitch like I said previously and you can also do this from your phone you can control it from your phone which is really nice and right here you select the performance level do you want it to be the best quality or the best performance so that means that the quality might be you know bad if you're going for best performance but it'll work and you'll be able to live stream right here it doesn't go up to 1080p just because I am using the web browser based one but it does go up to 720p 60 FPS which is really good and in general it just makes it easier here you just put in your stream title so if I was to just you know put beta that's what everyone else would see and it just makes life so much easier because like I said this isn't going off of you know OBS it's not gonna be using your CPU it's gonna be going off of the web browser and all you want to do after is just click go live and as you guys can see since I haven't put a title yet it's just gonna be beta save settings and as you guys can see it's gonna say setting up live stream and it's gonna start getting everything ready for us and now it's preparing it and we're gonna go live in a couple of seconds and yeah guys that's basically the easiest way you can live stream from your computer even if you have a bad computer and up here you can see the people and the time you've been live streaming for hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did remember to leave a like and a comment down below make sure to go check this out for yourself if you guys don't find my video very helpful tell me why also make sure to go check out other youtube videos out there on this program because this program is 
is definitely something great and if i didn't do justice for this program go do some of your own research on it anyways guys hopefully you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys around tomorrow peace guys